Perhaps the most feared complication uh, by patients who are undergoing a balloon or stent treatment to a coronary artery blockage is that they experience a stroke directly related to the procedure. And so we looked back at the experience of uh, the Mayo Clinic over a 15 year period. We looked at all patients who had undergone a coronary balloon or stent procedure and we identified which patients had suffered a procedure related stroke. And we found that about three or four in a thousand patients suffered this complication. Importantly, we looked at what had happened on a year by year basis from between 1984 and, excuse me, from 1994 to 2008. And when we looked across that 15 year time period, we found that the incidence of stroke related to an angioplasty was unchanged across this period. And this is perhaps somewhat surprising, given that we, as we've moved forward, we are now dealing with sicker patients who are older, who have higher levels of disease, more blockages in their vessels, and more complex treatment. But we found that, in fact, the incidence of stroke related to this procedure was still very low indeed, about three or four in a thousand. And when we looked in detail at the patients that had suffered a stroke, we found that those at highest risk were those who were older, who were female, who had other problems such as kidney failure and particularly those who'd previously suffered a stroke unrelated to an angioplasty procedure. These were a higher risk population of patients. We also found that patients who were undergoing a more complicated procedure, those who presented with an emergency, those who had actually fresh blood clot within the heart arteries or who had multiple blockages, they were at higher risk of experiencing a procedure related stroke. We also found that the patients who suffered a stroke had a higher complication level in hospital, particularly that of mortality, and those that did survive had a higher or had a worse outcome down the line compared with patients that did not suffer this complication. Well, of course, we, what we hope to strive for is no complications at all with any procedure. And the most feared complication we do recognise is of a stroke related to an angioplasty. But having said that, the incidence is still extremely low. And the fact that we're dealing now with patients in their 80s and 90s who have high level, very complicated, severe disease, the incidence of a stroke related to a complicated procedure is still very small indeed. Perhaps importantly also is that with the advent of time, we now have newer technologies that can deal with stroke should the worst happen. And recognising patients at higher risk puts us in a good position to be able to deal with a complication such as stroke if that were to happen during the procedure. So really, I think the message is that the risk of stroke is still very low indeed when we take everything into account. But we're now in a better position to identify those patients who are at risk of this complication. Blockages in heart arteries or coronary arteries can present in a number of ways. Uh, it can present with a heart attack, which is usually related to a sudden blockage of one of the three main vessels that supply the heart muscle. When that happens, we now are in a position to be able to open up that blockage with a balloon or stent, which is threaded through uh, a vessel, uh, either in the wrist or leg, under local anaesthetic. Some people don't present so dramatically with heart attacks, but present with angina, which is due to a lack of blood supply to the heart muscle because of a narrowing not without a complete blockage in the coronary artery. We can also treat these narrowings with balloons and stents to open up the blockage and thereby improving blood flow down the artery and into the heart muscle with the goal of improving a patient's symptoms of chest pain.